G'day guys, welcome to my video on how to install Magic Lantern on your Canon camera. Uh, first thing you want to do is just go on the internet and go to Google and just type in Magic Lantern. It's the quickest way to get to their site or you can just type in their website magiclantern.fm. Okay, uh, first thing you want to do is go to the download section and you'll see here this is the cameras it supports 5D Mark II, 50D, 60D, 500, 5, 15, 600D. Um, the same download works on all of these models. Um, so I'm using it on my 550 and my 5D Mark II, so I can use the exact same uh, download uh, on both of these cameras, which is handy. Um, so you just click on Download, and it'll start downloading. Uh, while it's downloading, just head over to the Features section, and click on the User Guide. This brings up a User Guide on all your features on the on Magic Land. There's a lot in here. Um, but what we want is the Install Guide up the top left. Okay, this gives you a brief rundown on, on how to install it. Um, first thing you want to uh, check is your firmware version, so um, on my 550D I need 1.0.9 and on my 5D I need the 2.1.2. Um, so I've already got those versions already on there. Um, I didn't actually need to install any of these, both the cameras um, had them on there from my last update I did before I was using Magic Lantern. Um, but if you need to download them the links are here. Okay, first thing you want to do is make sure you're using a fully charged, genuine battery. Um, don't use battery grips or eBay batteries or any of that sort of stuff. Uh, remove your accessories. Make sure you're using a smaller than 32 gig version. Uh, sorry, smaller than 32 gig uh, memory card. Um, you can use bigger ones. There's more instructions down later on, but I won't cover that because most cards are usually 32 or smaller anyway. Uh, and you need to be using a memory card reader. You can't do this through your camera. Um, okay. Next thing you want to do is format the card in the camera and make sure you check the low level format box. Once that's done, pull the memory card out of the camera and put it into your memory card reader. Then we want to unzip all your files out of the download into the root of the card. So um, I've already downloaded this and I've just got it here. So if I open up the zip file, yes, yes, yes. And in the other window I'm going to open up my memory card which has been formatted. All you do is just select all the files and just drag them on just into the root directory of your memory card. You have to excuse my extremely slow memory card reader. I'm using my cheap one at the moment. I'm missing the cable from my good one. Okay, that's all done. Um, okay, once we've done that, it is really this easy. Um, you pull that memory card out of the reader and then we move over to the camera. Okay, now that you've installed Magic Lantern on your memory card, uh, what you want to do is put your memory card into your camera and turn it on. Then you want to go into your menu, go across in your settings to firmware and click OK to update. Uh, this basically just makes your memory card bootable so the camera can boot straight from your memory card uh, rather than getting its firmware from the inbuilt memory. It says done, then success. Success means you're all done, but that's your hardest part. As long as that goes through, you're all safe. Turn your camera off when you see that. Give it a second and then turn it back on and we are officially running Magic Lantern. You can see down there I've got how many gigabytes are left on the memory card. This is just by default. You can change this all up though. And by pressing the trash can icon, you can actually go into the Magic Lantern menu and have a look through at all the different things that it can possibly do. Um, yeah, so that's it. If you want to not use Magic Lantern, you can just turn your camera off, wait for the last red flash, and take your memory card out. It's important you wait for the last flash because that means it's unloaded the firmware. Turn your camera back on and we are no longer running Magic Lantern. This is just normal Canon firmware now. So the firmware is actually read straight from the memory card. So if I put a normal memory card in this, it'll just be normal. So you can have one memory card with Magic Lantern, or you can have you know, all your memory cards. I've got all of mine done now on Magic Lantern because I don't really see the down point, downside of it. Um, yeah, so if you want to remove it, just format your memory card. Um, if you want to, you can, you can still format your memory card in the camera when you want to remove any photos you've taken off there. If you go Menu, then go back across to Format, you'll notice there that it reads all the Magic Lantern files. Um, so it'll tell you at the moment it's going to format the card but it's going to keep Magic Lantern. If I press the Q button that'll remove Magic Lantern as well. That'll remove the whole lot. 
that'll take a little while because it's got to go through and delete all the little files in there. Press it again and it'll keep. So um, yeah, if I want to, if I want to just give it a format, press that. Formats the card for me, and then it restores Magic Lantern on there again. Um, just got to wait for it to finish doing this. And it's back to being restored.